Hi, good afternoon. We are here with uh, Andrea Fuentes um, from Palo Alto College, one of our faculty members from Palo Alto College. And we're so grateful and thankful that you're joining us today. Um, during this time of uh, the pandemic and changes, and we'd like to hear from our faculty to see how you've been adjusting, maybe some, uh, um, some challenges and maybe some students have um, shared with you and some of the solutions that you are putting together to help our students so that they continue with their education and ultimately uh, graduate here at Palo Alto College. So welcome and, and can you share some, some thoughts with us? Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me, Dr. Garza. So, you know, this past semester has definitely been a journey with transitioning, you know, from our from our traditional sort of face to face setting onto a remote learning environment. And, uh, you know, the spring semester was really that adjustment period. And I think one of the keys that we really had to keep in mind as instructors was listening to the needs of our students and really being uh, open to the feedback that they were giving us uh, with their needs, you know, whether the need, the um, internet connectivity or uh, making sure that our content transferred, you know, from maybe what we were doing with our class lecture face to face and our PowerPoints and making sure that we utilized all of our online tools, right, to transfer that into an online learning environment and to a remote environment. So the spring was sort of a journey and now coming into the summer, uh, I feel like there's uh, some more tools that I'm comfortable with and uh, Zoom being one of them and being able to, to still see our students. I think that's been uh, a great component of Zoom because one of the things that we miss the most right in our online uh, class discussion and in our online or in our face-to-face -face experience with students is being able to see them and so now that we can see them and use those online tools i think that's been um, one of the biggest learning curves right in this transition is using our uh, online tools to connect to see our students and to still have learning uh, um, and community occurring in those environments well, I'll tell you, Andrea, you know, you, you hit a lot of great points, and there are a lot of faculty members, not only here in San Antonio, but across the Alamo Colleges, as well as our university partners, but all over the state of Texas um, and the United States and, and all over the world where faculty are having to adjust uh, to this new norm. As a faculty member, what advice would you give other faculty member and maybe some of the strategies that you've taken um, to put in place so that you could help your students. What would you What would you tell another faculty member? You know, some of these are the things that that I did that that might work for you. Absolutely, I think as instructors, the amount of interest and attention that we put into our class and our students is going to directly reflect the students' interest and involvement with the class and the course content. If we appear to be enthusiastic, excited, and hopeful in the learning journey, I think that really will transfer to the students as they are, you know, uh, addressing the chapters. Um, you know, a lot of what they have to do as students now, we were talking about this shift, right, in roles of responsibility with the students. And, you know, we're, we're really interested in our face-to-face -face classes. And, 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 you know, we have that classroom management. We maintain that connection. Then in the online world, we see that shift. And so I asked the students today, I said, you know, what, what have you had to learn, you know, in still, you know, I'm, I'm still maintaining that enthusiasm and interest, but what have you had to, to accommodate and learn in that process? And they've shared, they shared a few things with me that I think were very enlightening. And they said as students, they had to be more self-motivated. And as students, they felt, and they, they use the word um, accountability, that they felt that they had to be more accountable with the education that they were getting. So, you know, were, were they taking the time to review their Canvas page or review the syllabus or review what the lesson was for that week? And this is where in this, in this online world, we really meet in the middle with my interest and involvement and also with their, you know, self-motivation and accountability. I think that's what is really gonna make learning thrive in this atmosphere. My gosh, you, you used the one word, the favorite word that I have is hope um, mm -hmm. and, and your conversation because one of the things that we pride ourselves at Palo Alto College is that we're a beacon of hope 
-hmm. And during this pandemic and this trying time, and when folks are going and taking classes with Palo Alto College and across, um, across the country when they're taking their college classes, they're really looking for that opportunity of hope and that inspiration. And clearly you get it. You get the, the fact that you have to inspire and to motivate and connect and to understand that um, one student's norm might not be the same norm as another student and to be flexible. And so that's, that's how we're packed proud. That's the corazón that we have um, for, our, for our students in our community. And so very thankful for you to join us today. And, um, and, and how would you, as we end, how would you say, so last word to folks out there that are watching, because it won't only be folks from San Antonio, it'll be folks from everywhere. What, would you, what advice would you give them if they were to enroll in your class today? I would say, um, you know, in continuing on this perspective of hope, things won't always be this way. Um, but there, you know, even though we might be in our homes and in, in a sort of what we perceive to be stationary area, we're still growing. We're still learning. Um, and we still, you know, there's knowledge that is still needed to be shared. And those career paths, those career opportunities, those doors will be there. Um, and so to remember that as we're continuing our education and continuing this learning, that we're getting the skills for that open door that will be available for you. Um, you know, an op a door might open for them during this time that we are in, you know, a, in this state of quarantine, um, but it will be open for them also afterwards. So understanding the open doors will be there, career opportunities will be there, and we need their skill set, we need their skills in the environment and atmosphere ahead. Well, thank you so much, Andrea. We greatly appreciate you. We're so thankful to have you with us at Palo Alto College. Definitely a leader amongst the faculty. Very much appreciate um, all that you do to help our students be successful and our community be successful. Thank you so much. Thank you.